Hello. <laughs> uh, quick little introduction to this video. It was initially meant to just be a cute day of me and my little sister running around. And if you don't know me very well, my little sister, um, she's 29, but she has pretty severe special needs and she is, uh, she does use a wheelchair or stroller <clears throat> uh, to get around the world and that can pose problems. So yeah, I thought it was important to show, but it kind of turns into that. It kind of turns into an ADA rant, um, but here it is. I am in California. I'm at home this weekend and thought I would do a little vlog of me and my sister, Alex, running around today. And I have asked her permission if she can be in this video. Alex, am I allowed to put you in this video? Thank you. First things first, we are going to Starbucks, right? And then I have to return these hideous shoes. You were there when I bought them and you let me buy these. Hold on. Oh, I don't hate them so much. Like, <laughs> I I don't know. Are they, are they, they're Skechers, so they're incredibly comfortable, but do they look too big on my feet? No. Now I doubt it. Now I'm like, I should keep them. They were on sale, but maybe for a reason. But we have to return this. We have to get Starbucks. We have to get a gift for my coworker. And that's it. Ready, Freddy? Okay. Let's go. first I have sunscreen on my face that's making me extremely washed out but it is what it is we have a serious bone to pick with whoever is designing literally anything in this day and age handicap access and like just accessibility for chairs and strollers is so lacking and we're so frustrated right now because we came to San Anita Mall and on the first level there are a few handicap spots but they're all taken and we go down to the second level and there are none like none that even exist here and here's the thing we don't need them to be close to the entrance because like i can walk and push her but we need a space with like the walkway on the side so we can get her out of the car and and i can't like always back into a spot because then i need to get the stroller out i just how is that it's 2023 we don't have tables that are more like we went to cheesecake factory last night and I have to like move a bunch of furniture to get her in there comfortably. And now we had to find some crazy parking spot to accommodate her needs. Not happy. Who do we call Alex? Good job. We'll call Carrot Top. He'll know what to do immediately. Done. <laughs> that we have to like go into a JC Penny or nor like we have to go to the outskirts to get an elevator to go upstairs. Just put an elevator next to the escalator. This is really just becoming an ADA rant, but it's a pain. Like I'm wandering through JC Penny. I don't know where the elevator is. We and I'm just trying to go upstairs. I saw like four escalators, not one elevator. So Mm. <laughs> Don't laugh. It's not funny. <sighs> I'm so sweaty from literally moving furniture just to try to change her. We haven't even gotten to an elevator yet. And this is the second family bathroom 
that we went to. The first one didn't have any changing table. This one only had very public ones where everyone can see or they weren't big enough. They're for babies, which I get. But then there's this whole room that's just like a lounge. It's not hard to put like a counter in there. So now we have to find the elevator. <laughs> I just want to get to the second floor of the mall. You would think that the elevator in the mall took you to the second floor of it. We're gonna to have to go to a different department store on the outskirts. We're finally on an elevator. We're just fingers crossed it takes us to the right place. I'm tired, are you tired? <laughs> all right well we made it out of the mall somehow some way we're in our car i'm exhausted <laughs> we spent most of our time navigating the mall and trying to figure out where things were actually other than like shopping i'm ready for my second coffee of the day alex are you ready to listen to some green day and go home yes okay i love you i have to oh, thank God. <laughs> Marshalls. I have a couple of cousins coming over tonight and I want to put together a little sleepover basket with like face masks and candy and stuff. So I'm going to do that here because there's a Target right over there, but the Target at my parents' house is like the Twilight Zone. It's like where all other Targets go to die. It's just a dark, scary place and it's messy and dirty. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go do that and then that's it. I'm gonna go home. We're gonna have a sleepover. Okay, bye. I got the cutest stuff. I'm so excited. It's two of my cousins coming over. I got the knees box basket things and then to go in them because I need to put them together before I get home because they're probably probably already there an eye mask these witchy Halloween like when you're getting ready put that headband on that face scrubber I almost bought them dog treats because they looked like actual snacks they were not little snackies a knockoff lip mask for like the Laneige one but a detox mud mask or one got a mud mask and one got one of those like peel off ones because I know she's gonna love it um is the rest for me how embarrassing okay well that's all I got for them <laughs> and then I have been looking for these Reeboks I've not been looking for them I know where they are I've been wanting them for a long time but they were like 80 90 dollars $35, 35, 35. Um, but I did find that these ran a little bit small, so I got a seven and a half. And then I got a couple candles. It's pretzel. And the rhinestones are the salt. And then this little pumpkin. Ooh, to take home. So I'm gonna put together these baskets and then go home. And they'll probably be there. <laughs> okay, bye. Thank you.